It's been a few days, and I honestly have no idea where we left off. <laughs> uh, I know we're somewhere in Chapter 2, and yeah, I'll try to figure that out <laughs> when I start it up. I'm sure it'll come to me. Anyway, guys, it's our Archangel. Um, I'm going to fiddle with the uh, video settings here. One second. And I'm just going to turn anti-aliasing back on because the jaggies were really starting to irritate me. So, anyway, let's get to it. You know, I really want to uh, apply the uh, 60 FPS patch again, or the executable again, but right now, not the best idea in the world. Uh, you know what? Actually, there is a mission we can go to right now. If we hurry. It's probably going to get us in a lot of trouble for doing it, but... Machiavelli's principle, blah 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 blah. Yeah. I think at some point, um. Can you help me, please? Just like for a second. Hey, Jimmy, I need to get I back to the girl's Jeldin. dorm. Will you please walk me home? Definitely. Oh my god. Did you see Mandy making herself sick in the toilet? Okay. Room? Well, I guess the uh, mission that I was talking about will probably have to wait until uh, tomorrow. Because we're not going to have enough time to finish it, I don't think. It would be cutting it very close. Basically, because I don't want to get stuck at a point where Jimmy ends up passing out halfway into trying to complete the mission. I'll just let you listen to Christie's chatter. Did you hear there's fresh blood on the floor of the hole? Yeah. Can't imagine how that got there. <laughs> I don't want to see any trouble. I hear everyone is betting on the jocks this year. We need like snack break and tea break in school. Christy, I have no idea what you're talking about, but you know. So bored. I wish something would happen. You know, usually after Life girls start so talking, you know, boring. within ten minutes, I, I tune them out, so... It was nice of you. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, that's all that was. <laughs> yep. She just wanted to walk with me and hold hands. Anyway, let's go to bed. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but girls like Christy and Angie and them. Whoever removed the crate of meat from the cafeteria, please return it to Edna. Apparently, it was not garbage. <laughs> that was such um, a girls like Christy and Angie, and even Eunice and stuff. While they are kissable, they are not actually considered Jimmy's girlfriends. I don't understand why the so. Let's Kind of obvious, but anyway, um, the actual girlfriends, those who actually have the girlfriend status, are there's one from each clique. We've already gotten the nerd girlfriend in chapter one, and then the one in chapter two, of course, was Pinky. Um, what is this week? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're going to see what classes we have today. Okay, uh, let's take a look. It's chemistry, but you notice that it's uh, not showing up as orange, it's actually showing up as gray. Which means that while we have the option to go to class, we don't have to. So actually, we'll go ahead... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Our ability to do that mission, we can't do it during class time. So that's no issue. Uh, let's just wander around and see if there's any... Um, 
Aaron's for us to do. Tenant's house. That's the continuation of the main story mission. But we're not going to do that yet. Obviously, I want to get all the side stuff out of the way first. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything in town that I can do. I'll just look around and see if there's any... Um, anyone requesting any errands to do. There may. And if not, that's okay. We're just wasting time until uh, class is over so we can go back and do that one mission. And I've already done all the lawn mowing and all the um, paper route stuff, so I'm not going to do any more of that. I could if I wanted to earn more money, but not necessary, and it's kind of a waste of time. Square and there's City Hall. That will actually be a location of some importance later. But not right now. And no, I don't see anybody making any requests, so let's just head back to school. Well, sorry about that, but sometimes this game's just about waiting. I could have gone to chemistry and just failed the class if I wanted to. I suppose that would have passed time. Okay. Okay, now we have Weed Killer available. And this is one of the side missions of Chapter 2. A rather amusing one. Hello? You, boy, don't just stand there. Come and help! What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines in the game. I, I love how <laughs> Jimmy's just like, Oh yeah, you want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, you're such a smartass. Alright, so... Um, on my bike? Oh, there it is. So anyway, we have to take care of killing the plant. It's actually here on the school grounds, but it's over by... Uh, the preps uh, place, which is called Harrington House. And we're gonna see this place in great detail right now. Rich kids congregate. Well, if it isn't the number one contender, looking sharp. Nice yeah. shirt. Is that Aquaberry? Ordinarily, I would have to be dressed properly to enter here, but I already am, so that's no problem. What's up, guy? Alrighty. And for this 
heart of it, they're actually neutral toward me. They don't really attack. I must have a chance. Well, I'm going to work at my father's firm this summer. He's making you work? What a bastard. No, no, I wanted to. His firm is handling a big murder trial. I'm going to help out. You're helping out on a murder trial? <laughs> father's making you work? What a bastard. Ah. <sighs> Could smash stuff up, but not a good idea right now. I wonder if they're gonna say anything. No? Okay. They do have snippets of conversation, which is pretty amusing, so it's nice to listen to them, but um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and continue on. So I asked Mother, why can I access my trust fund? I mean, I'll be 18 in a couple of years. Damn, what'd she say? She said it was for my future. That I should be grateful she was looking out for me. That's nothing, man. You're letting her off easy. You should get twice that much for a whole summer. Well, Elvin, power call. All I want is a piece of 15,000. Spoiled rich kids. Okay. So we take the poison here and target the plant. And <laughs> it's given a boss bar, but it doesn't actually attack you. All you gotta do is just hold down the button and spray. That's it. Okay. Give up now. My shirt is getting dirty. But now, here comes the fun part. Because they're attacking. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually gonna drop this thing. Um, you can use this thing on them, but honestly, it's not really that great of a weapon. Better off just wrecking them with Jimmy's fists. Uh, I was actually trying to use a, a move that I don't have yet, in case you're wondering what the heck I was doing. Alright, so they're down. Um, yes, you can actually smash all the stuff up if you so choose. The option is certainly there. And while it may feel really, really good to get one over on the uh, rich kids, there's really no reason to do it. It doesn't, you know, count toward a goal or anything. So, you just want to continue on with the mission, just smash your way through. Yeah, I don't bully often, you know, do this stuff to intimidate them or whatever, but, you know, it's fun to do every now and then. Can smash the TV. Let's see what's on it, though. Absolutely nothing. TV sucks anyway. An LCD. Some rich kids you are. Probably totally dating the LP. People might watch this years down the road. And oh, by the way, Biff is a really good boxer, so he's a little tough to take down. You can take him down in a boxing fight, which I will show. But it's actually probably a better idea to, honestly, to um, use weapons on him. <laughs> and he runs away. I am gonna smash this suit of armor because I just felt like it. Alright, so anyway, that's it. Thirty dollars in our pocket. Anyway. There we go. Done. Yeah, Biff is definitely considered to be one of the tougher uh, students. Generally speaking, each uh, each click has like a tough student on the 
that's considered, you know, to be a semi-boss character or whatever, or even a boss character in the case of like Russell or whatever, but a Biff happens to be the one uh, who is the boss character, sort of, for the preps. He's not the actual boss fight, but he's actually the strongest fighter, so. Anyway, we're just going to save our game. And there is another um, side mission, which we can do, but it, we have to wait until later at night to do it. I think it's after 7 p.m. before it becomes available. What the heck? You know what? I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Alright. I was trying to run it over, dude. Anyway, um... Okay, so I'm not going to continue on with Tad's house. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to waste some time. I could. Uh, oh, never mind. Jimmy, can you help me? Yeah, what do you need? How's it going? How you doing? Hey, what's new? Do you need my help or not? What is your... What's new? What is your problem? What are you doing, you fool? Hey, kid! Wanna help me find my lost medication? I'll pay! Why not? Thank you! Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> he needs lost medication. Alright, well. It's in trash cans. And, wow, that didn't take any time. I was gonna say just smash uh, trash cans until you find it, but I happen to find it on the first try there. Here Thank you go. Thanks for the help, kid! And it gave me what looked like Monopoly money. Um, I think you can do races here? Yeah? Look at that. Um, might as well. Let's go ahead. Look, misery loves Don't company. Think you've won yet. We're gonna grind you down. Let's, Let's see if I can actually do this. I haven't done this circuit in years, so I might actually screw this up. Oh yeah, and if the racers get up next to you, they may try to punch you off the bike. So just be aware that they don't they don't race fair. Already on the second lap, so this one's actually pretty easy. Some of the later ones get to be pretty challenging, though. I recall on one of the, like, I think maybe the last race, there's like a really sharp turn that if you're not prepared for it, it can really trip you up. Anyway, not hard. was never any doubt. Um, but yeah, if you want to give yourself more of an advantage in the bike races, just finish all of shop class. You'll get the best bike in the game. Uh, oh. Looks like there is... Uh... Well... <laughs> there appears to be a... Ah, okay. I see. I was going to say, there appears to be an errand up here, but... All right. What do you need? Oh, it's a townie. Let's have some yeah, fun I'm with in. these water balloons. See how many people you can hit with them, okay? All right. Okay. I don't know about that. I don't trust it. All righty. I'm in trouble, obviously. Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta fill it up. Again. Uh... Alright, you notice that the police are after me now. 
Didn't I hit him? Oh. Okay. Alright. Bombs away, fool. Yeah! I like them apples. And we unlocked water balloons. And now, if I was really stupid, I could go down there and have the police chase me. But, uh, I'm not. Oh, and if I tried to, like, just fall off this building, Jimmy would be instantly knocked out. So, yeah, take the ladder. Do yourself a favor and take the ladder. Now, see, the good thing is cops, they're too dumb to be able to climb ladders, so we're safe. Alright, I think it's safe now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I spoke too soon! Uh, that was really poorly timed. Uh, okay, so, yeah, it's time to go do this one. And where we pick it up is actually here in town. Right here. Not from this guy, though. Evening, sir. Yo, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research! To check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. <laughs> but I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girl's dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh. I'll see you soon, Jimmy. Uh, what a disgusting man. So anyway, yep, we're going on a panty raid. You know, you would think that this sort of thing is reserved for, uh, you know, college frat boys, but nope. Jimmy is going on a panty raid. So, let's do it. <clears throat> and he's doing it for the pervy gym teacher. Okay, now this is a stealth mission. This looks useful. Basically, don't get caught by the uh, authority figures. Namely, the old bag. It looks like she's coming, so Jimmy needs to hide. Because if she catches us, we're in trouble. And she basically watches the girls like a hawk, so we have to wait until she clears out. Is okay in there, girls? Yeah, I'll get lost. Alright. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Um... You are in a world of trouble, young man! Oh boy. Okay, so you that's what happens. Herbert, get out of the girls' door! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she automatically kicks you out. You cannot run or anything. So I got kicked out of the girl storm, so I gotta start all over again. Fortunately, I didn't really lose much in the way of time, but... <sighs> I forgot she has eyes in the back of her head, so... Either that or I was making too much noise, so... Whatever. Let's try that again. That's for me. Obviously, she's coming, so it's time for us to hide. It's surprisingly roomy. <sighs> and this is why I said before that it's good to give yourself enough time on this mission because things can go wrong. Yeah, here she comes. Could do this, but oh, go away! All right, good to move to this one. Hi. Hi. How's it going? This might be useful. Don't worry about it. Sorry, but I have to go study. Hope no one saw me. Okay. Looks like she's heading out. Don't tell mom about that at all. She'd be so mad. Okay. For this part, do not approach My the showers, because there's a girl in the shower, and yeah, you'll instantly get caught. Look at this. Okay, it looks like both authority figures are downstairs. Okay, there we go. Who? It's not me. Listen, I'm just doing the laundry. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. What See ya. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Is it the football team? Nope. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, here you go, you old perv. I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. <sighs> okay, you know, there are a few missions in this game that just make nice me feel... Work, Jimmy. ...skeezy. And that's one of them. I really just... Ugh. What an awful man. I hope Dr. Crabblesnitch doesn't forget about me. That show. Why are you so obsessed with Dr. Crabblesnitch? Uh... Hi. Here, come you here and know, kiss me, you fool. Me, girl. This is so Just great. you and me. I need a refill on my life. Yep. I'm never gonna stop doing that, guys, by the way. For all of you who hate me kissing Eunice, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> uh, let's get his picture. Look so stupid. Thanks. What a nice, what a nice boy. You're a very nice boy. Okay. And I'm violating curfew now. Oh yeah, that's a nice picture of his head. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. This way. Uh. What's going on? Oh. I guess I already got his picture. Alright, whatever. Basically... I say basically a lot, don't I? I need to stop doing that. If you see a... student that you haven't snapped a photo of before, just, you know... take the opportunity. I was gonna apologize to you. Just trying to get his picture, you fool. Alright. I doubt he's at, still outside, but... 
Yep. He's not. What's wrong with me? Sometimes I, I, I oh just start my crying God. and I can't stop. A poor boy. How you doing? I already got your pictures. You'll be prosecuted to the max. Why? I got you in my sights. Come on, man. I'm here on school grounds. What's your problem? I'm going to nick your sunscreen. You're going to nick my sunbeam? What? Dude, you really shouldn't mumble. Alright, I'm going to go to bed. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We got another trophy, by the way. And it's hanging up by our pictures of our girlfriends. A bee? A freaking bee. Yep. Oh, Pair of panties. <sighs> yeah, Jimmy is a perv just like Mr. Burton. Yep. <sighs> Turns out that I forgot to uh, uh, set my affinity to only two cores when I uh, turned on Bully, so yeah. When I was in the middle of showing you something very cool, which was a go-kart race, it decided to crash on me. So, anyway. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and do Tad's house. We'll go ahead and do that mission now, and then I'll go show you the go kart race. Uh, <laughs> Russell, I was not trying to run you over, buddy. Now, some of the other students I would gleefully run over, but not you. You're cool. We're cool. Now that we had our, uh, our fight in the Thunderdome, yeah, we're good. Anyway. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If he wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes, you got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Alright, so I get to egg Tad's house all over again. Yay me. <laughs> anyway, but I have Russell to help me this time. So, it's actually a very easy mission. Notice that I say actually and basically a lot. I'm going to try to stop doing that. Sort of a quirk of mine. Okay. Let's go. Get your eggs out. And for this part, just let Russell take care of the fighting for the for the most part anyway. Uh, your role really isn't to fight, your role is to take care of the egging. And trust me, Russell can handle the fighting on his own. <sighs> for whatever reason, in the reticle, trying to move it vertically up and down 
just because they're really slow. I don't oh, care. No! Oh, I don't know about that. See, Russell's actually really good at uh, covering me. I know you're out there. I know you're out there. Get out there and find him. You know who, what, what the rich kids sound like? They almost sound like... Uh, they almost sound like Trey Parker oh, and Matt Stone I know uh, from South Park trying to talk rich kids. That's what they sound like. Nice. Oh. You notice uh, Biff came out. Now Biff is the big bad boxer. Notice he has some moves, but if he's fighting both me and uh, Russell, he's he's gonna go down. Yeah, and he's down. I already leveled him before <clears throat> during the weak killer mission anyway, so... Okay. Um, now it's time to... Time to leave. Should figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's a taxi sitting here. That's what I think your stupid taxi. Alright, that's it. And the preppies really hate us now. Oh, sorry Russell. I'm good. That's all there is to it. <coughs> Eat it. Crush. Kill. Destroy. <coughs> All right. You take care of him. <coughs> I'm going this way. Okay. And one other thing I wanted to show you guys: the boxing challenge is going to lead to that. Sort of will set us on the path uh, toward the end of chapter two. I don't really want to do that yet because there's one other thing I want to show you guys. So, figure out where the heck I am. Okay. I know where I'm going now. Okay, and we're gonna actually... There's that word again, actually. We're gonna go do a go-kart race. This game wasn't so buggy. If I was able to run this full affinity and, and use the uh, executable for 60 FPS, and everything, this game would run a lot better. But kind of runs like crap right now. Oh well. We're gonna do some go kart racing. This I had just won the go kart race. And then the game crashed before. And I was like, no! Not that it's exceptionally hard, it's pretty easy. Just avoid the other go kart uh, racers and slip past them and don't spin out. Anyway. Take advantage of the power slide. And don't do that. See, I just uh, did a power slide there. And, yeah. Crazy. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, they rubber band a lot. Rubber banding. I don't think so, dude. Uh huh. Way too much rubber banding there. They were not rubber banding that badly before. Obviously, the game is mad because I pulled ahead too early.
Oops. Okay. Like that. <laughs> yep. Another good deed done. Okay. Now don't crash this time. All right. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. It was like right at this point when I started walking away, it was like, oh, it's time to crash, here we go. Wee! Bastard. Uh, we could ride the rides. There's no point, it just shows you a little, uh, you know. What am I trying to say? It shows you a little video of Jimmy riding the ride. It's like, yay. That was fun, I guess. What am I doing? Um, Funhouse. We'll come there much, much later in the game. I'm going to go ahead and show off some of these, though. Because I did say that I would. Okay. That's basically how to do that one. Um, let's see... We already did that one. I could show you the shooting gallery one. That one's actually kind of tough. Railway... Okay, strike out. Okay, yeah, we gotta hit the actual catchers. Now, don't hit the other trucks. Go right ahead. Show us that you are no wuss. And considering the reticle is... Pick a line and just stick with it. Ah, hit the umpire and lose the game. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically that. Um, I'll try to win it this time, but welcome it pretty much welcome. sucks. Just Go yeah. right ahead. Show us that you are no wuss. Okay, we got one. Alright. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I try one more time? Now that I got it? Or got the gist of it? Alright. Like I said, it's, it's been a while since I've done this. Got it. Anyway, not exceptionally difficult or anything, but like I said, if you just want to like spam ticket making, uh, doing the high striker thing here is the easiest by far. Um, I'll show off the ride some other time. But yeah, there's plenty of other crap we can get, uh, which basically will count as either like trophies in our room, or we'll count as clothing items. And there's even a new vehicle we can get. Oh, and by the way, you can actually get a really good vehicle if you complete all the go-kart races. You can get a snazzy go-kart to ride around in, uh, in, ta uh, in town, which is nice. Um, I think, okay, yeah, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and save the game, and then we're going to go ahead and do Boxing Challenge. You're going back to the port. Oh, go away. Go away, you awful, awful boy.
Oh, okay. Alright, you wanna do this? Let's do this. You are messing with the wrong chap. Alright, alright, chap. Cheerio. All that rot. Idiot. Alright, I'm definitely saving my game because, uh. Um, yeah, I don't want to go through that again. Alright, guys. I think that that's actually going to do it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to try to keep them relatively, well, reasonable anyway. Um, but uh, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. See ya.